Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about deploying an AWS Lambda function with API Gateway using Terraform. So in modern cloud application, serverless computing offers scalability, cost efficiency, and ease of management. AWS Lambda allows you to run code without provisioning or managing servers, while API Gateway enables you to create secure and scalable RESTful APIs. So in this video, it provides a step-by-step -step process to deploy an AWS function, Lambda function with the API gateway using Terraform. We will learn how to define the necessary IAM roles, create Lambda function, configure API gateway, and deploy everything using Terraform. So by the end of this video, you will have a working API that triggers your Lambda function upon receiving HTTP requests. So here, if we see the prerequisites, so we need an AWS account with necessary IAM permissions, a Terraform installed on your local machine, AWS CLI configured with appropriate credentials and Ubuntu 24.04 with zip install for packaging the Python Lambda function. So here you can see the directory structure. So in this Terraform directory, I gave API gateway.tf, IAM, Lambda, and this is the Lambda function and provider.tf. So I can use all this AAM, Lambda, and provider.tf in the main.tf, but for easy understanding, I use it the uh, I use it these modules separately uh, without creating the main.tf. So in the step one, let's create provider.tf to define the AWS provider. So first I'll create the directory. So here I'll give the provider.tf first. So here <coughs> I gave the provider as Amazon Web Services and the region as AP South 1. <coughs> so in the step 2, let's create an IAM role for Lambda. So here I'll use this code. So it's IAM.tf. So here we gave the IAM for Lambda execution. So this is the uh, IAM role. So now let's create the Lambda function. So which is Lambda.tf. So for that, I'll use this code. So here you can see the file name as lambda function dot zip. So after uh, giving the uh, wait a second. So I'll create the lambda function later. So first, let me create API gateway and then lambda function code and then, then it will be lambda.tf so first i'll create the api gateway.tf so here i'll use this code So this is for the API gateway. So now let's create the Lambda function code. So for that, I'll create the Lambda function directory. And then in the directory, I'll create the Lambda function dot py file. So first let's create the directory called Lambda function.
So in this, I'll create the lambda function dot py. So here we'll give the Python code. This is a simple hello world code. So here, after giving this code, we'll create a zip lambda.ch script for packaging the lambda function. So, so in this directory itself, we'll create zip lambda.ch ssrsh. So in that we we'll use this script. So here, lambda function dot py will create as uh, will become a zip file. The name of the zip file will be zip lambda function dot uh, which is lambda function dot zip so after saving this we have to execute and run it so for that i'll use these comments so if you check here this zip file got created so now Let's create the lambda.tf so which is of step 4 or step 3. So now let's create the lambda.tf. So here I'll use this code. So here you can see the file name is lambda function dot zip in the lambda function directory. So this is the path which I gave for this file name. So it will take the zip file for the deployment from this path and the name of the file is this. So after giving all these things, So let's initialize and deploy. So if you check here, <laughs> we gave the provider.tf, iam.tf, API gateway, lambda.tf, and the lambda function. In that, uh, the zip file will be deployed, deployed. So now let's use the Terraform commands. The first command is Terraform init. So it will in install the required plugins. So Terraform init is done. Now we'll use Terraform plan. So here you can see these are the functions which which are going to create. So total 10 to add. So in that, so Lambda, API gateway, all other things will be created. So you can also correct the syntax by using the Terraform validate. So the configuration is valid. So now let's apply and deploy. I'll use auto approve. So here you can see 10 are added, zero change and zero destroyed, which means our application is uh, deployed. So if you go to AWS account, so in this, if I go to Lambda function, 
So my lambda function is created like 35 seconds ago by using Python 3.9. So package type is zip. So this is the package which we created. So if we go into this, lambda function is created also with the API gateway. So this is our code, which is all from Lambda. So runtime is Python 3.9. So if we want to access the application, click on API gateway. So here you can see an endpoint URL. So by clicking on that, you can access the application. So this is our required output, which is all from Lambda, which means our application got deployed and running. So if you want to destroy the resources, you can use Terraform destroy. So so by after using this command, everything will be deleted. So you can see 10 destroyed. So if you go here after reloading, the Lambda function will be gone. See, so everything got deleted, even the API gateway. So they're not so also in the API gateway, there's nothing to see, which means everything got deleted by using the Terraform destroy. So in the conclusion, we have successfully deployed an AWS Lambda function with API gateway using Terraform. However, Lambda function is accessible via an HTTP request enabling seamless serverless application deployment. So this is about deploying an AWS Lambda function with API gateway using Terraform. So that's it for today. So yeah, thank you.